Georgie, I hope you're doing well out there. It's almost summer. Can you believe it? I'm so excited. Now, some of you, uh, maybe you're almost done with school. Maybe uh, you're done with school already. And that's awesome. I wanted to share with you a few things that we're going to be doing here at church this summer. First off, every week on Sunday, we're going to be doing our unnamed summer series, which are videos just like this, right? Which we'll be hosting maybe talks with some of you on FaceTime, hearing about what you're doing, or we're going to be sharing resources and other videos that you can watch with your family and friends, and checking out some of the wonderful things that we're doing in God's garden around the campus at church. Speaking of resources and fun things to watch, I just want to share with you a little video from some of my distant relatives across the country and a cool video that they just put out recently. Take a look. All right, this looks good. <laughs> Dad, I think today's perfect. <laughs> a full day weather forecast of sunny skies and smiles. <laughs> uh, hi, Mr. Rogers! Oh, hi, 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 hi. Uh, What are you two doing? Dad and I are taking a break from our nature walk. Yep, and we stop for a moment to enjoy the colorful leaves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, look, Elmo, the leaves are falling. Yeah. Look, look. This leaf is red like Elmo's fur, oh, oh, oh. and this leaf is brown like Russ's skin. Good observation, Elmo. Oh, thank you. Oh, Elmo has a question. Oh, oh what is it, Elmo? Well, Elmo wants to know why Russ's skin is brown. Oh, oh I know why, Elmo. My, my mom and dad told me. It's because of melanin. Right, Dad? That's right. Melanin? Well, melanin is something that we each have inside our bodies that make the outside of our bodies the skin color that it is. It also gives us our eye and our hair color. Oh, and our fur color? Yes, that's right, exactly, Elmo. Oh, but if we all have melanin, why are we different colors? Like, why is Mr. Elijah's skin a darker brown than Russ's skin? Oh, that's a good question, Elmo. Well, it's because the more melanin you have, the darker your skin looks. Oh. The color of our skin is an important part of who we are. But we should all know that it's okay that we all look different in so very many ways. Oh, oh well, Elmo's fur is red and soft. Oh, and my hair is black and curly. <laughs> Things on the outside, like our skin color, our hair texture, uh -huh. our noses. Oh. <laughs> Our mouths and eyes make us who we are. Many people call this race. But even though we look different, we're all part of the human race. <laughs> Isn't it cool, Elmo? Very cool. <laughs> huh, look at the leaves. Hmm. What do you two see? Uh, um, oh, Elmo sees leaves that are all different colors. And the different colors look really cool together. Yeah. Yes, those leaves came from one amazing tree. Standing strong, its branches like arms stretch wide, with leaves of many different colors, side by side, swaying together in the breeze. Oh, like this? Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when people of all colors come together, we stand strong, like this tree. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, Elmo. Oh. This leaf looks just like us, two colors side by side. <laughs> It's beautiful. Beautiful together. Wow, that really was beautiful. You know, when I think about the different leaves and I think about the strong tree like they mentioned in the video, I think about our community, our community tree, remember? like we talked about in the Unnamed Kids show, and that, that God has created all of us to be like the different leaves, right? With the things that make us unique, you unique and beautiful in the eyes of God. Think about it. What's something that makes you, you? I'd love to hear. And maybe you can send me a letter or write me a picture, draw me a picture and put it in my mailbox at church right by the playground there's my new mailbox it's all set up and you can put letters in there and i'll write back to you and we even have sometimes 
some bags and activities to pick up in the box that's down below it. So be on the lookout for that too. And feel free to, to send me a letter or draw me a picture or anything throughout the summer. I'll be checking my mailbox often. Well, have a great start to your summer and be on the lookout for these videos every Sunday. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.